Welcome back fire alarm technicians. This is going to be a quick crash course on the 901 programming. This is more of a refresher. Uh, just a quick thing, all you need to hit in order to get the job done. First off, I just started with a brand new file here. So everything should look similar to yours. Uh, things may vary depending on your firmware version. But first step, we're going to click over here on Harvard Tree, new FACP. This is where we're going to give a name to what's going to show up on the screen. Uh, this one we're going to call the, the, the Smith building. Sure, why not? But just name whatever you got to name your building. But this is what's going to show up on System Normal. It's going to show up the Smith Building. Okay, next question: Are you going to be monitored? If you're going to be monitored, you'll have to mess with the DAC settings. If not, you want to right-click on DAC and hit Delete Node. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill these in real quick, just so you what we would have to have. Are you going to have a cell phone? Or are you going to have two phone lines? If you have a cell phone or a cell uh, connection, and you only have one phone line. Click on DAC Connection. And you want to turn off. Phone line two. We're going to pretend we have a cell. Uh, DAC connection one. By default, it's tone. That's good for America. All right, DAC network. We're going to go to DAC account one. Uh, I prefer using a Demco. It's a little bit slower, but it's more reliable. Uh, we're going to get, have to give a four digit account ID. Um, one, two, three, four in this case. And you give it a phone number that's going to dial out to. Uh, don't forget to dial the number one if you're doing a standard phone line. So 1-800-123-4567. All right, that's my phone number. Uh, what time are we going to do our daily test timer? I'd recommend a normal uh, daylight time like uh, 1,500 hours or 3 p.m. Everyone should be awake at that time. You set up for 1 in the morning and they call because they didn't get a test timer, you're going to have an angry customer. Uh, for account one, everything will be must. On account two, everything will be can. So fill out similar information for account two. The phone number should be different. I'm not gonna bother with that. You should know how to do it from account one. UFP line, you're only gonna use this if you have a remote panel or a remote printer. Uh, if you have a remote panel, you're gonna go to the UFP line, right click, insert node, and put in what you have. Uh, I have an enunciator, okay? And you give it a name, but it's not gonna show up on the thing. But if you have multiple enunciators, you wanna give it a name like, this is the enunciator and the office. This is Nunciator in the gym. This is Nunciator in the basement. A uh, city tie line, if you use that, go ahead and keep it. Most of the time we do not use it, so we'll right click to delete, delete node. If you do not have any Nunciator, you'll right click on UFP, delete node. If you have the program, program key, this is where you have a program button, except to do a special feature or the preset. I prefer NAC bypass. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into the actual programming of uh, devices. Got the addressable loop, line one. We're going to insert node and we're going to just go with the HFP11. Uh, what kind of signal will it be? It's just going to cause an alarm. Now, right here, a lot of technicians are tempted to change this where it says HFP11. If you do that, a uh, year from now when you come back, there's no way to look at the programming until you have an HFP11. So keep this line the way it is. Instead of going to update this line, smoke heat sensor one, this is where you might say, smoke over panel. I'd also highlight this and do a control C for copy and then you come over here to the detection tree where you have this automatic alarm zone. Instead of automatic alarm zone now do control V as a victory or a paste and get that same title. If you ever have an alarm happen this right here is what's going to show up. If it was an uh, automatic alarm zone 2, that's what would show up. Instead, it's pre preferred to go smoke over panel. If you ever have a device go missing, it's going to read from here, HFP1. Uh, as far as where it's at, if they go and hit the button, uh, the OK button to get more details, it will show smoke over panel in the details. And last but not least, like I said, we have this as a uh, monitored account. So right now, everything is coming as group 1. Um, that's fine. This is device one. We're going to say this is group one. That's just fine. I'd go ahead and give this the same title control V, smoke over panel. So I had one more device here. Uh, we're going to do another smoke. This is going to be for a duct detector. Uh, this one's going to be a OP921. So first, you got to find it OP921, smoke detector. Um, since it's a duct detector, we're going to make this supervisory. Okay. Once again, we keep OP921, change the description here. This will be duck and maintenance. 
control C for copy. And if you don't click off it, it works right. Let's go try it again. Control C. Go over here our supervisory zone. Instead of saying supervisory zone, we want to show duck and maintenance. But it's not a duck detector unless it has an output. So we're over here on the OP921 at two. Right click, insert node, output channel. Now it has a relay attached to it. By default, it will automatically make a control over here. Duck and maintenance triggers that output. You can give the control a better name if you want or keep it default. It works just the same. These are the basics you need to do. Um, oh, don't forget one step here. That duck is now also in uh, dollar group one. We do not want it sending out for dollar group one. So insert node here for dollar groups, add a new dollar group. We're going to call this one control V again, duck and maintenance. And we're just going to drag this into that. So now duck and maintenance has a child, duck and maintenance. By default, it gives the next available number, which is two and two. You can change this right here. Right now it's generic fire alarm. You can change this to, there's a few options here, duck alarm. With that, um, you can go ahead and keep adding your devices, but this is the basics. Go ahead and save it. Save often, because these programs do shut down. Um, when you get all done, feel free to upload the configuration file, uh, or download, sorry. Download configuration file, PC to FACP, and good luck with your programming.